Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can turn categories into pages so that each time you make a make a make a post your post will be placed under a a page on your home screen. To get started, the first thing that you need to do is to create categories. So what you want to do is what a posts. We're going to create a whole bunch of new posts. This is my WordPress test site. So we're going to create a whole bunch of new ones. So I'm going to add a new post. I'm going to call this PHP. I'll put down I love PHP. We are going to give it a category, and these are just some categories I have already existing. We're going to call it computer languages, and we're going to hit publish. We're going to add a new post. We're going to create um, HTML, CSS. Oops. I love HTML slash CSS. We're going to give it a category of computer languages. And we're going to hit publish. We're going to add new post and as you're adding posts in your blog you can just give it different titles the point is you want to be able to make sure you assign it an appropriate category um, we'll go ahead and do this one um, German I love the German language and right here we're going to click on add a new category since we don't already have a don't we have a category here and a new one and we're going to call this foreign languages. Parent category uh, refers to one of these categories you already have existing that you can um, slide it under. We're going to ignore that um, for the purposes of this tutorial. So we're going to add this new category. Make sure it's selected. And we're going to scroll up. That one. Add new post. I uh, love, I'm going to call this French, I uh, love the French language. Scroll down, highlight foreign languages, scroll back up, and publish. All right, now, now you got a bunch of new posts. And if we go take a look at the site, You'll see that everything is all sort of dumped onto your home page, and that's what WordPress does by default. But we're going to change that. We're going to kill this. We're going to kill that. We're going to go to pages, and we want to create a static page, pages that is just going to be displayed when someone shows up to your website. Um, this page is not going to change. That's why it's a static page. So we're going to add new. Put down, I am a static page. I am a static page. We're not going to give it any page attributes for this theme, so we can ignore that. We're not going to give anything else, and we can ignore all that. So we're just going to go ahead and publish this. Now, if we look at this, you'll notice that a page has been created up here. Click on that and it just says I'm a static page. But we want this page displayed on the home page that it always shows up there and never changes. In order to do that, what you want to go down to is to appearance, oops, excuse me, settings, and let's see, oh boy, is it general? Nope, not general. Is it writing? Nope, not writing. How about reading? Yep, there it is. Okay, so we're going to create a static page, and we're going to select that your page you want to create a static page is right here. Um, you can ignore all this. And we want to hit the save button, which is probably at the bottom. There we go, save changes. All right, so now if we go take a look at our site, kill that old one, here's the new one. 
you'll notice right here it just says that I am a static page and it was dropped down out here at the top. Now what you want to go ahead and do in order to allow you to have pages that you can put posts beneath is an additional step. We're going to go to appearance and we're going to go to menus. We want to click on categories. We want to take the categories that we selected for our posts and add them to the menu, just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and you've got, you can give it a menu name, uh, Costa menu. And we're going to create menu, go to the old site. Okay. Um, and you want to include that it's in your primary navigation. So wherever these show up, depending upon your theme, make sure it's the primary spot. And we'll go ahead and view the site. All right. And you'll notice, oops, I had two static pages. So let's go ahead and delete one. So we're going to remove this guy. Let's save menu. We're going to kill my old site up here. Now we're going to open this up. Okay. And you got your static page right here that's just going to be displayed no matter what. And then you notice you have computer languages. And you'll notice that your posts right here are including your computer languages. Foreign languages over here. You'll notice that you've got your foreign language over here. And demonstrate this. We're going to go to posts. We're going to add a new one. And we're going to put down um, JavaScript. I love Java. We're going to select it as a computer language. And then we are going to publish it. You'll notice that it shows up right there. Okay, what if you want to include a post in both categories? What do you do? Well, in this example up here, I've got Russian and then I love Russian as a language, and I've selected both computer languages and foreign languages. So it's both of those categories that we have included on our page. We're going to go ahead and hit update. Um, yours is going to say, yours will most likely say publish. I've kind of already pre-made this post. So I'll hit update. View. Okay, again, static page. Click on computer languages. Russian is going to show up, show up. You click on foreign languages, and there's the post for Russian. Okay. What happens if you make a post, but you don't include any of your categories? Well, let's find out. I've included this post up here previously. This post is called Python, um, and I've selected in my categories cooking and food. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit update. You're just going to say publish. I've already pre-made this. Okay, so now we've got the post basically published. So we'll click over here. You'll notice there's no cooking or food up here. We'll click on these pages, and the word Python just doesn't show up um, because it's not included in these pages. That doesn't mean the post doesn't exist because it does. It's just not connected anywhere because you can view posts right in here. And the post exists and you can use this as a link to transfer stuff around. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial on how to sort of add categories into your pages to make it look a little bit more like a website. Thank you.